Hello, future Lancers. Congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Windsor. My name is Nadia. I am a student recruitment officer for the University of Windsor, as well as a two-time proud graduate of our Faculty of Science. And it is my pleasure to be sharing this important information with you today. We are so excited for you to begin your Lancer journey at U Windsor, and would like to walk you through what your fall term of your first year will look like as a computer science student. An important note I'd like, I'd like to draw to your attention as we get started is that at any point, if you have any questions about your courses, I encourage you to contact one of our academic advisors at csinfo at uwindsor.ca or science at uwindsor.ca for more information and additional support. If you are beginning your first year in any of these computer science programs, this registration resource is for you. This includes if you're a student in our general or honors bachelor of computer science, as well as if you are pursuing our BSc Honors Computer Science with Software Engineering, Computer Information Systems, or Applied Computing. Now let's dive into the specific courses you'll be taking in your first semester of one of our computer science programs at U Windsor. The first required course you'll need to add to your timetable is Comp 1000, Key Concepts in Computer Science. This course will provide you an introduction to several concepts that are fundamental to modern computer science including algebraic characterization, syntax, formal logic, algorithms, and complexity. This course consists of a lecture and a lab component, so ensure you add both components to your timetable. The next required course you need to take is COMP 1400, Introduction to Algorithms and Programming 1, which will provide you an introduction to algorithm design and programming in a high-level language such as C. And this course also has both a lecture and laboratory component. Next, you'll need to add a math class to your schedule, and which one you add depends on your math background from high school. If you took calculus in grade 12, you will register in this course here, Math 1250, Linear Algebra 1. If you did not take grade 12 calculus, you'll instead register for Math 1260, Vectors and Linear Algebra. Either way, you'll be adding a linear algebra course as the next course in your first semester. For your fourth class, you'll be adding a calculus course to your semester. Again, which one you choose will depend on your grade 12 background. If you took grade 12 calculus, you'll register in this one here, Math 1720, Differential Calculus. If you don't have grade 12 calculus, you'll instead take Math 1760, Functions and Differential Calculus. So as a recap, if you are enrolled in any of our computer science major programs, you will need to register in Key Concepts in Computer Science, Introduction to Algorithms and Programming 1, one Linear Algebra Math, and one Calculus course, depending on your math background from grade 12. For your fifth and final course, you have an open option, so you can take any course across the university that fits in your schedule and you're interested in. I encourage you to spend some time going through our Fall 2021 course offerings to, make, to take a look at the different subjects and see which courses jump out at you to see what you might like to fill as that last spot. Lastly, let's go through what your first semester will look like as a student in our double major business and computer science program. As a student in this program, you'll need to register for our two intro computer science courses just like seen previously. This includes both Comp 1000, Key Concepts in Computer Science, as well as COMP 1400, Introduction to Algorithms and Programming 1. So ensure you add both to your timetable. Next, you'll need to register in STEM 1000, Introduction to Business, which will provide you a fundamental overview to functional business, strategic management, and entrepreneurial processes, to name a few topics. You'll also want to ensure you register in our Econ 1100, Introduction to Economics 1 course, which will provide you an overview with how to understand a market economy, how markets function, and consumer behavior, to name a few topics. And lastly, you'll also need to register in a calculus course. And again, which one you choose will depend on your background from high school. If you took grade 12 calculus, then you would register in Math 1720, Differential Calculus. And if you did not take grade 12 calculus, you would instead register in Math 1760, Functions and Differential Calculus. So to review, you will need to register in Key Concepts in Computer Science, Introduction to Algorithms and Programming 1, Intro to Business, Intro to Economics 1, 
and one of these two calculus courses, again, depending on your calculus background from grade 12, and then you'll be all set and registered for your first semester of university. I encourage you to reach out to your professors and academic advisors for any question that you have, big or small. They are all so approachable and here to help you and they want to see you succeed. And I highly recommend that you use them as a resource whenever you need any additional help. That also goes for your GAs and TAs or graduate assistants and teaching assistants. These students will be running your labs and tutorials and they are great resources when it comes to the labs and tutorials, but also are a great go-to person if you have any questions about structuring your courses throughout your program, how to get involved in research, you name it. They have just been through these same programs yourself, themselves that they're starting out in, so they will also be a great resource for you. One final tip I will leave with you is to get involved. Getting involved helps you expand on your multitasking and time management skills, but also will help you make new friends, connect with professors, and forge meaningful connections that will last all throughout university and beyond. And finally, we're here to help. If you haven't already, I encourage you to visit our Plan Your Program webpage listed here for an interactive guide to course registration, as well as links to important information. Feel free to connect with the academic advisors that I mentioned earlier if you have any questions at all, and we look forward to having you officially join our Lancer community this fall.